Yeah, we'll just have to fight the number one great power in the world for a single province. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in you for with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Europe and back in the HRE as the nation of Liège. Liège is a nation that starts off, Liège is a nation that starts off in the lowlands region of Europe. I don't know what culture we are. And we start off with this Bishop Jean VIII right here, who's a 2-2-2, not that good, obviously. And I actually don't know Liège ideas, but they might be pretty good. So let's go ahead and check them out right now. We start off with plus 10% morale of armies and plus two yearly papal influence, which is really good. We're a bishopric, of course, so that helps us out a lot. Then we got minus 10% stab cost, decent, plus 20% manpower recovery speed, plus one yearly devotion or legitimacy if we flip to a monarchy. Then we got plus 30% improved relations. Alrighty then, I'll take that. Plus one diplo rep, institution spread, national unrest, and then minus 10% construction cost as a finisher which makes Liège ideas really, really nice for playing in the HRE and uh, remaining Catholic for the entirety of the campaign. But what do we do as Liège? Well, since we do start off with Walloon primary culture, why not create the best Netherlands possible? That's right, Belgium. So for today, I'm going to get a lot of flack in the comments for that. But today, for today's challenge, as Liège, we are going to have to conquer the entire region of the Low Countries and create the superior version of the Netherlands led by uh, Liège, which is is uh, uh, Walloon, and uh, you, you get the point. Either way, this is going to be a very difficult challenge because unlike other times that we've tried to create the Netherlands, for the first time right now, we're going to be playing and not as a Burgundian subject, which is going to make this extremely, extremely difficult. And basically, the success of this whole campaign relies on whoever gets the Burgundian succession or whoever doesn't, pretty much. So expanding it to these guys, easy enough. But what about the Burgundian subjects and the Burgundian provinces themselves? Boys, we're going to be in for a lot of pain. And before we begin, if you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them Let's jump in as Liège. All right, all right, here we are as Liège. We start off in these two provinces right here. And uh, actually, man, they're pretty nice provinces. Glass, cloth, no centers of trade, unfortunately. And they are uh, woods, which isn't that good. But of course, we do start off as a bishopric, a clerical state. So we'll have some very nice government reforms to go through. But in the meantime, let's see who's rivaled us. Provence, Aachen, and Gelray. No big deal. Let's just go ahead and get started with the estate stuff. And uh, then we'll get the alliances and conquests in order. Uh, sure. All right, all right, estate stuff done. And recently, man, I've begun giving out uh, religious culture right here, which is a uh, decent estate privilege. I didn't used to give that out, but, uh, you know, it uh, it does make uh, sort of a difference, and I might start including it in the guides. But uh, either way, no big deal. Let's go ahead and rival Gary. We do want to fight them. Uh, we're only going to expand in the lowlands region, by the way, to make this more difficult for us. So we're not going to be fighting Aachen. Who else can I rival? Uh, you know what? Let's just rival Aachen, man, and uh, Provence, the nations that have rivaled me. All right, well, free diplomats. Do we got a diplomat guy? We do. Let's go ahead and uh, try and ally maybe the Emperor. Uh, is it going to be easy to ally Austria? You know what? I'll start improving with them, but I'll uh, also begin linking with electors. Of course, we can't become the HRE Emperor as a bishopric, but it will be nice uh, to get those guys on our side. Once this guy's back, I'll start spying on uh, Gelray. Yeah. Are we making money? Eh, you know what? I am going to get a mill guy as well. There we go. Let's lower me maintenance. Force limit is eight. Let's get rid of uh, this horse. He is too expensive for now. And I'm going to get uh, three regular infantry regiments up and running. Well, I started off by getting an heir, a really bad one too. <laughs> Now, you know, the difficult thing here is going to be, um, you know, once we get this province, we, we sort of have to push through Brabant, but we can't expand out of the lowlands, which means we might have to vassalize Cleves here and go through them to get to Gelray once again. Also, no unique missions, by the way. We can become an archbishopric by becoming an elector. I doubt that's going to happen. We can form France. Wait, we can't form the Netherlands. We're not, um, <laughs> we're not, a, what you call it, um, Dutch... Flemish or Frisian. <laughs> well, all right, we'll just remain Belgium then. No strong allies from Gelre right now, just Brunswick and Dortmund. Burgundy right now rival to Austria, but France rivals them, so uh, the Burgundy succession probably won't go to Austria, but it might go to France or uh, the Palatinate. I'm thinking it's going to be the Palatinate, honestly. Yeah, even after improving with Austria to the max, we still can't link with them. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try and uh, ally Bohemia right here. Maybe Brandenburg, too. Actually, the best thing that could happen for us is someone else getting the Burgundian succession, like 
the Palatinate, what I said, but then the Emperor demanding that they release the Lowlands, in which case all of these nations right here, including, um, what's this, like, Hainaut and Luxembourg, will become independent, and then we can fight all of them. That's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, I think Austria gets Burgundy or something. France will be pretty bad too, actually. Or, hear me out, I ally France and use them to help me beat up Burgundy. Just got the mission Trustworthy Allies, that should help me link with France and the Pope. Wait, it was 60, it was negative 60, because they ended the war. Interesting. Aragon didn't actually let Naples go this game. Very rare, but Naples did declare independence. They've allied the Ottomans in Castile. Look at this. And it's only 1450. All right, there's the France alliance. Uh, they can't call me into this because it's not their war. Excellent. Excellent. I'm digging that, man. Uh, let's just link with the Pope here. And uh, then I'll declare on Gelray. I think some of my boys should be willing to help me out. Uh, yeah, me and Colm. Yeah, we can easily do this. All right, I've allied the Pope. Even got a two siege general, by the way, and a Miltech four while, uh, you know, uh, Gelray and uh, Brunswick are tech three. So let's go ahead and declare. Call in Colm, conquest of upper Gelders, and uh, this should be fairly easy. All right, I knocked out everyone, and Colm also got knocked out. Oh, this got conquered by, um... They just give it back to them, I guess the Emperor asked. <laughs> it's time for a tier 2 government reform. I always forget these, um, you know, clerical state ones. Internal mission tolerance made for recovery speed. We can't do these two. Uh, missionaries, fort defense, commercial merchants, global trade, regular devotion. Uh, I guess this is the best for military stuff sure all right this war is donezo so let's take upper gelders right here and i'm actually gonna uh wait uh are they my rival yeah they are my rival so it's not a good idea to vassalize them yeah let's just do this all right that's done for now uh let me claim her Tagenbosch. i can't austria just got hungary let's hope they don't get burgundy but yeah now that we got tech four in every category we can actually start bumping our capital a bit uh to get the spawning of the renaissance faster so let's activate encourage dev right there and uh, let's see let's expand as well that made it a bit cheaper and yeah i'll just push it up to uh 10 in every category but yeah these are my allies right now man uh brandenburg bohemia the pope and france unfortunately i guess uh, gelry made colin break their alliance with me yeah yeah, so right now France is tired from this war actually that they were in versus Aragon kept Naples. Can you believe it? Look at this. They didn't win with the Ottomans on their side, dude. Got out Aragon and France, man. But yeah, once France recovers right here, um, they should be willing to help out like versus Burgundy and stuff. Oh yeah, they're immediately willing to help out with Burgundy and Bohemia and Brandenburg too. So if I declare for like Luxembourg, I can also take her Tagenbosch. Yeah, let's just keep creating favors with them because I don't want to give them land. All right, this is definitely the way to go. No waiting for the Burgundian succession. Oh, uh, the new heir is pretty good too. 553. Five, yeah, he's kind of old too though. <laughs> Ooh, lots of papal stuff, man. I'm getting 7.64 a year. And if I buy indulgence, it's like 864, right? 10, 11, right, right. Well, I love it. Uh, Let's go with that. Dude, we're gonna make a killing with this, this game. This is gonna help us out so much. Teutons wanna join the Empire. That's not really relevant to me. Let's, uh, let's accept. They're on Provence. Oh, it's just an OPM Provence, of course, looks up. We're actually making money now. That's, of course, because I don't have advisors, but we can go ahead and take new burger loans and start building some buildings, man. At least the church here and there, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, let's put that down in Liege, and, um, uh, well, that's it for now. New papal thingy, let's go for the morale. Okay, so France just ended their war with, uh, Provence. They are sort of back up in manpower, of course, not full, but they would be willing to join. So if I declare on Burgundy here, France, Bohemia, and Brandenburg would come in. Now, of course, this would be still a very annoying war. They have lots of forts. They're a powerful nation. Their subjects are pretty powerful. They got lots of forts too, but we should be able to do it. Now, my only concern here is immediately getting attacked by all of these guys and getting locked in here. So hopefully I'll be able to run away this way to Brandenburg and Bohemia and then come back with their armies too while uh, France takes the hit. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and declare for uh, Luxembourg and call these guys in. Fighting Burgundy in 1458, not something I thought I'd be doing. Oh yeah, let's get a mail guy as well. Fort defense, sure, I'll take him. And uh, let's dev that up and activate defensive. Can I run away somewhere that way? I can get the France though. Let's see if I'll be fast enough. I was in fact not fast enough. I can't go that way. No. I didn't even shatter retreat to France. That put me back to uh, Limburg. All right, we did get a little bit freed up right here. I am going to get the free company for now. Let's see what we can do with that. Apparently nothing. And that's a complete destruction of Burgundy, man. We've ruined all of their troops, all of their boats, all of their subjects, too. Look at the war exhaustion on Holland, and we've completely crushed them after a rocky, rocky start. But do I do the biggest big brain move of all time 
right here by making Burgundy release um, Flanders, Brabant, and Holland, and by taking the stuff that they own over in the Lowlands region, which is uh, Luxembourg, Namur, and Hainau. Uh, let's see if that's even possible. So, obviously, I want these. That's a quite a lot of AE, but let's make them cancel Brabant, Flanders. We can't make them cancel all of them. Can we do this? We can. So we can take Luxembourg, for example, and make them release all of these guys. They'll, of course, be in the HRE. They'll be protected by Austria. No one will fight them. We can fight them later without fighting Burgundy. And then we can just fight Burgundy again for these two provinces right here with the help of France and stuff like that. Excellent, man. This is definitely the way to go, I think. And uh, yeah, let's get a, a war reps as well, can we? Yep, there we go. That's our first war with Burgundy done. Their subjects are no longer <laughs> their subjects. I'm so smart. I'm the best U4 player of all time. For real, for real, no cap on God. Ah, Burgundy warned me, so so it's like I didn't even do that. 90 war score for nothing. For nothing. I, I basically fought this war only for Luxembourg. Okay, so this means my next war has to be with Burgundy. My truce with them is gonna be up in, uh, let's see right here, 15 years. What do I do for 15 years? All right, the Renaissance just spawned and 30 ducats to embrace that just one loan. So, of course, we'll go ahead and get it immediately. And let's see if we can sell it to anyone. Uh, let's make a few extra bucks by selling it to France. Nice. Oh, I just got fascinating. I just got fascinating. I clicked away, but uh, I just got fascinating. There it is. Nice. Is Bohemia at risk of Austria declaring on them and me getting pummeled as well? No. They validate Poland, which uh, has Lithuania and Moldavia and Ducal Prussia too. So uh, Austria, I don't think they'll be declaring on Bohemia. They might feel powerful enough, man. Look at what they've done down here so far. Warning Serbia too. Not bad, Austria. Not bad. Not bad at all. Aragon. Uh, Holland found itself without any allies, unlike... Oh, I thought they were guaranteed by England. <laughs> Yeah, so they're getting beat up by Friesland right now, which doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's gonna be time for our first idea group here. I gotta go with something mill, man. Not a lot of military ideas and international ideas. What could help us out here? Quantity. We won't be that rich. Don't need quality. Not gonna play with boats. Divine? Dev discount, devotion, fire damage received, even more morale. You know what? Just because we don't play bishoprics enough, I am gonna go divine. Not that they're super great or anything, but... I'll take it. Yeah, so the truce with everyone I want to fight right now or everyone I can't fight, which is Burgundy and Brabant, lasts for 10 years. I got to chill for 10 years right here. Maybe we'll uh, improve our nation or something. There we go. There's new burger loans. So let's see if we can do some nice buildings. Trade. Nope. We already built all of them. Churches. Sure. You know, we can give Condottieri to Genoa. It's not like the Ottomans who they're fighting will come beat us up, right? Is it just Genoa? Yeah, it's just Genoa. So, you know, something I never do. But, uh, you know, you got to find something to do around these parts. There we go. We're fighting the Ottomans now. There's your title right there. I fought the Ottomans as Genoa. <laughs> or no, I fought the Ottomans as Liège. Sorry. <laughs> Not Genoa. Your condottieri clients are disappointed. Boohoo, cry more. It's time for a tier 3 government reform. Let's go with something mill-focused as well, if we can. So, average monarch lifespan. Nope. Education advisor discount's pretty good. Mission and strength, don't need that. And idea discount and institution spread. These two are pretty good. I'm actually going to go with the advisors here. Yeah, let's go with the AE impact right here. We're playing in a high dev region and the HRE. You know what? Let's spice up this challenge. Conquer all Walloon culture provinces as well. Because, you know, we are Belgium, right? So, what's Walloon? Uh, we're going to have to fight England, huh? No big deal. What? France, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to the in the Castilian succession war against England. England's allied to Sweden, Hamburg, Portugal, and Venice. What is this? Wait a minute. Oh, they're, they're just allies. I thought France got Castile and, and Aragon. I was like, you can't get a PU on a nation that has PUs, so... Oh, England contested it. England contested it. Sure. Sure, I'll join here. This is no big deal, honestly. Might be a chance to nab Calais. I don't think they'll give it to me, though. I can't core it. <laughs> but at least they won't get it themselves. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, okay. Burgundy. The Burgundy Succession. Who's Osnabrück? <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta be kidding me, dude. These guys don't even exist in 1444, and they got Burgundy. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, uh, wait, no. Wait, no, France is gonna... Actually, no, they're not. So, you know, regularly, France would contest this, probably, because they feel like Osnabrück is weak, right? But since they're involved in this war right here, I don't think they're gonna do anything with Burgundy, man. This is good for us. This is very good for us. And if Austria makes them release the lowlands, uh, like uh, Picardy and uh, Haina will pop out of here along with um, maybe Champagne or Nevers or someone like that. And we can also get the Walloon cultured provinces because we won't have a truce with these nations. Let's see what happens. The incident should... There we go. It started. Let's vote for Demand Lowlands Independence. The Emperor favors this option for now. That, of course, changes like every month. 
what the Emperor wants, but uh, looking good so far. Okay, let's just hope Prince doesn't do anything here. Hmm, Burgundian pretenders that Burgundy uh, doesn't have a big enough army to wipe out. Okay, so Austria has demanded that the Lowlands be released. Osnabrück, of course, has to accept this. And they did. They did excellent. Ooh, Nevers didn't pop out, though. Or Picardy. Only hideout. I do have a claim on them. <laughs> And of course, the warning isn't valid either because they're a junior partner. Okay, this war is immediately done. Uh, these are all Walloon cultured provinces. Can we take all of this? Yeah, honestly, we can, man. Honestly, we can. All right, that's a nice war done. Uh, a kind of bad ish, so I'll tell these guys to uh, establish communities right here, both of them. We could take that mission right there. Excellent. Nice advancement. Everything is going in our favor so far. No pain yet. All right. So yeah, when we fight Burgundy next, man, all we need is Rethelwa right here and Artois as well. They're the only Walloon culture provinces they have. After that, we do need to get Calais, which is owned by England right now. And then, of course, we do need to move on to the rest of the Lowlands, which uh, doesn't suck. Well, just as I said, no pain. <laughs> Utrecht and Friesland. <laughs> they valid Denmark. Valid Denmark. Okay, truces are up, but AE is kind of messy. So yeah, let's wait until we declare on burgundy we also got the ottomans and naples everyone okay and the war with england and france finally ended france has kept castile making them uh really really powerful oh uh, yeah let's chill for a bit more and then we'll fight burgundy unless france has the same idea we gotta declare now yeah they might be getting ready i don't care let's go ahead and declare for a rethelwa or artois it doesn't matter too much france and the pope should be enough yeah there we go what did i declare for again Artois, right, right. Second idea group time. What will give us a nice policy with divine right here, man? Religious, morale, even more morale, trade. I guess trade would be pretty good. But uh, then again, we're not trading that much. Maybe economic. CCR with economic? It's not about policy, honestly, man. You know what? Why not? We're not expanding that much. Sure. And there we go. The war is done. I was waiting for Castile to siege down Brunswick so we can piece them out. And I only want Rethelwa and Artois. That is going to be quite a bit of a, a coalition might form after this, but... uh. No big deal. Let's just go ahead and chill. And uh, that's that. There we go. Walloon culture province is acquired. We just need Calais and then all of this right here. I really got to get this improve relations quick. Ooh. Okay, let me stop desiring Calais. Oh, actually, I didn't even desire it. Hostile. Yeah, they've turned hostile. But this is no big deal, actually. We're still in the HRE. We'll be safe. They won't declare on us. We're good with Austria. You know, maybe we can even link with them. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if they break the alliance. We're done fighting Burgundy. Don't need their help anymore. Yep, there goes the alliance. I'll try and link with either Austria or Poland instead of them. Okay, so getting Austria would be really good. But we still have that Liegean army strength and neutral attitude. Now, I can't do anything about the neutral attitude. I've approved to the max. So let's see if we can actually get a Diplorep guy. I don't have him. Let's go ahead and fire this guy and hope for him. And that's actually first try right there. Easy. So that helps us out a bit. Now we just need the army strength thing. I think we can get new burger loans. There we go. Yes, we can. And what I'm going to do right now is get the free company, free Swiss guard, Frisian company. Let's see if that's enough. And that was not enough. Wow. Not enough. And there's no one else I can hire, I guess. Uh, I don't know if this is going to pay off the Flemish company. That's it. I've gotten all of them. Nope. That was, uh, that was useless. Let's wait for a month, actually. Yeah. Just wasted a whole bunch of money for nothing, man. Oh, well, you know, I guess it was worth a shot, right? Still making money, though. We're good. Yeah, I just sent a scornful insult. It still wouldn't have worked because the army strength only went down to negative 30. So, yeah, we, we would still be 64, 68 like that. I don't know if there is anything else I can do here. You know, I think eventually I'll be able to link with these guys because yearly uh, opinion does change to the positive. I guess we'll see. A is still bad, so let's chill more. Yeah, if I could somehow get one more Diplorep point. Will anything here give me Diplorep? Prestige, loyalty. Oh, that's not good. Oh, cathedral in Liege? Because I got a church in every province. I do have a church in every province. Oh, Austria just declared on Venice, man. Now, when nations are at war, they're more likely to ally you. We could get them during this war. Excellent. Osnabrück actually inherited Burgundy, man. That's crazy. Sweet. Austria just asked for mill access. I gave it to them. Now I can ally them. Excellent. All right. They'll help me fight Denmark, like for sure, and England. What I'm going to do here is declare on Flanders. AE is kind of high-ish, but this isn't a that developed province in the they have no allies, so let's just take advantage of this. Also, tier four government reform time, lands for the church, permanently increases opinion of the Pope. This is very good, actually. Yeah, we gotta go with this, but this gives the, the clergy even more influence. <laughs> yeah, that is the best one, man. It's just we can't go with that, right? Yeah, no way. We gotta actually take away clergy influence. Uh, let's go with that one. Curtail clerical privileges. Didn't help too much. <laughs> actually, it did. All right, no coalition if I take that. Fine on England right now, because Austria has occupied Calais. They might make them... I doubt they'll... No, they can't make them do anything, actually. <laughs> what? 
The nation of Brandenburg, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Hessian Brandenburg Punitive War against Hesse, Munich, Nuremberg, Anhalt, Saxe, Lauenburg, Wurdenstetten, Regensburg, Hamburg, Berg, Wolgast, Ansbach, Bayreuth, Bamberg, Lubeck, the Planet, Lunenburg, Würzburg, Mecklenburg. This is a defensive war, and it just repeats everything else. How did these guys get coalition? And? There goes the Diplo rep. All right, let me trade favors for trust with Bohemia so they come into my war. And now let's go ahead and declare on uh, Brabant for these two provinces, which I don't have claims on. Yeah, there's Divine wrapped up. And that's the war with uh, Brabant done. Now, I wanted to take these two provinces so I can actually fight everyone else up here. We're still good on that. Can we also take Antwerp? Is that something we should do, man? It's a very nice province, I gotta say. But will this stop us from fighting these other guys? You know what? Yeah, let's take half now, half later, and I'll also humiliate them. Easy. Now I can also start my golden arrow, which I will do. And would you look at that? I have the highest morale in the world. Well, of nations that I know of. Now, England's warned me. Who can't I fight? I can't fight anyone here. They they share a sea tile with... Wait, no. Ah, uh, it's only land borders, right? So I can't fight Brabant anymore. No big deal. All right, so OBS crashed like it's been doing a couple of times even after I updated it. What you missed was the Pope calling me into a Venice war, which I accepted. The Pope won, and then Austria called me into this Milan war. And uh, you also missed the Protestant Reformation spawning right next to me. And I was just sort of complaining about that and uh, going over the fact that Bohemia and Brandenburg also in Protestant and uh, how now that uh, Brabant has converted everything, well, they'll start converting me, and we have religious zeal, and we're gonna suffer. So, uh, yep, that's what you missed. Some molding. Okay, so France is fighting England for Calais. Okay, so that's who we're gonna have to fight for the final uh, Walloon province. Now, France is really powerful, man. They're allied to uh, Aragon, which has Naples, Switzerland, and Lorraine, and Castile is their junior partner, which, of course, will colonize and will be pretty strong themselves. Even with Austria, man, yeah, we need to uh, ally another French rival. England, maybe, but or Muscovy. Muscovy's kind of far away. Yeah, that's not possible. I'll start improving with England, even though they're war me i guess now france warned me okay who can't i fight i pretty much won't be able to fight brabant once they get kelly yeah we'll just have to fight the number one great power in the world for a single province that's just my life and to think that i said we'd have no pain this game now, hold up i'm gonna try and do some more trickery here and ally aragon crew favors with them and make them break their alliance with france we'll see if that works pain holland has allied england <laughs> i think i can only fight galray right yeah where did all my allies go, dude? This is turning into a not very good campaign, man. Now, at this point, I can ally England. Uh, should I try and go for the Aragon strat and make them break their alliance with... I don't think I can take both of these guys, right? Yeah, they're rivaled. All right, there we go. I've allied Aragon. Okay, time to do my own war. Let's fight Galray along with these two guys. No one will help me. No big deal, though. Yeah, so I pretty much got to create 50 favors with Aragon here to make them end their alliance with France. And then at that same uh, you know, point in time when I make them do that, I got to make sure Austria is willing to hop into this war. So uh, yeah, without Aragon on here i think you know me austria and hungary can beat france and castile it's gonna be really tough though really really tough the clergy again oh no it's religious turmoil now of course there's colonialism all right war here is done let's see what we can do with gallery full annexing them is possible so boy broke their alliance with me why what did i do man what did i do yeah this campaign is turning uh more and more difficult than i thought it'd be not satisfied. Tier 5 go reform. I think I'm gonna go with this for the army stuff. Now, wait a minute. I just noticed something. Reigns and Aragon aren't allied anymore. Why? Either way, uh, doesn't seem like it's my problem if all of these guys come in. Now, that alliance seems to have been broken very recently because this truce is like five years. It only happened a year ago. Should I wait five years and get all of these guys, including Aragon, to help me fight France? I think I should. In the meantime, I really don't have anyone to fight, man. Take on Denmark. <laughs> you know, they do have Norway. <laughs> or maybe I can. You know what? Let's give it a shot, man. Why not? Oof. Not good. There's religious society. This war is done-ish. Let's make them end their alliance with Denmark, and I can realistically only take two provinces here, man. They're so highly developed. Yeah, even this is a problem. Huh, the Great Peasants War, too. Great, now France is no longer excommunicated. That sucks. All right, Aragon ended their war with Clemson, and now every one of my boys would come in versus France and Castile. Is Aragon tired? Kind of. That's a massive freaking army, man. Who are we going to fight? I got I to gotta go somewhere over here or something like that. Yeah, let's see. We'll definitely de declare now, though. All right, boys, time to fight our most difficult war. I'm also gonna get uh, Miltech 11 right here, six years ahead of time. 
just so I have a tiny advantage over France. And uh, let's go ahead and do this as well. That This is going to put us over force limit, but uh, we got to do it. Can I decrease autonomy? I can't. Okay. Fine. Okay, that war is done now. So let's go ahead and um, get a claim on France first. <laughs> And now let's go ahead and declare the hardest war of this campaign simply because, well, it seems to be the easiest war right now. And AE is bad with the Lowlands Nations. Not easy at all. Not easy at all. Let's go for Paris. All right, everyone seems to be dunking on Aragon for now. Milan's in this war too. Uh, they're a junior partner of Austria. All right, already knocked out Siena and Genoa and uh, Switzerland should be able to go now as well. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, okay, it's only France and Castile now. Let's focus up. I'm a great power. Impressive. Uh, Aragon's also been knocked out and Austria inherited or annexed Hungary. I think we should call it here, man. After all, we are only going for one province, the one Walloon province, right? Let's go ahead and check. Yep, that is true. So Calais is the only thing we want. Let's get warps and all their money too. And that's done. Okay, that's, I think, our hardest. We're done. Now we just have to fight um, a Denmark or, or no, no, no. Um, England once. Yeah. Oh, Great Britain. Right. Well, that should be easier than this, I think. So uh, yeah, one, two, three four, five, six, seven more provinces to go. Uh, Britain has a surprisingly small navy, so I've started building my own galley fleet. My truce with Friesland is up. Might as well hit them again, I guess. Let's call it Hesse again. Yeah. Oh, finally, I can convert. Pick three time. Offensive. Council of Trent. I'm gonna go conciliatory just for the uh, improved relations. Okay, wrapped up this war. Let's see if we can full annex them. No, can't even take those two. What about something like this? 57, something like this, 49. I gotta do this. I hate aggressive expansion here, man. I just hate it, yo. We got five more provinces to go. It's gonna be so painful. It's gonna be so painful. All right, finally, end of religious society. All right, AE seems to have cooled down. Let's go ahead and hit Brabant. Uh, let's see what it's gonna be like after this war. Tier six government reform. We can become a monarchy or a republic here, but of course we're not gonna do that. Let's just go for that. All right, this war is done. It's September, actually. Let me wait until January. All right, now let's see if we can peace out. And oh, so much AE. I'm gonna get coalitioned if I do this, man. I hate playing in regions like this, yo. They're just so highly dev, man. 53 like that, 55 like that, 52 like that. We're left with these two OPMs, and then we gotta go for Holland too. You know what? A is pissing me off. I'm gonna call it, go have lunch, back tomorrow. Okay, I'm back after uh, aggressive expansion and not wanting to get coalitioned made me rage quit yesterday. But where were we? Right, just these three provinces left. Let's check truces. Uh, I have a truce with these guys and with these guys. And to fight these guys, I gotta fight Great Britain and no one will help. Alrighty then. Well, now I remember why I rage quit. Alright, so I just checked Britain's Navy, man. And they don't have that many boats. No galleys, by the way. Only six heavies. So, I think with uh, 60 galleys, man, we should be able to take down six heavies. Do these boats need to be upgraded? No, they don't. So, yeah, let's go ahead and declare on Holland. Call in Hesse. Sure. Alright, let's put the army uh, right here. Pop the navy out. All right, now I just gotta chill until Britain gets bored. Hey, I just removed the center of reformation in Brussels. Yep, there we go. Uh, two right there, both in Switzerland. Surprisingly, two more right there. There's the reformed one? Yeah, no Anglican one. I guess it disappeared. <laughs> uh, okay, they unconditionally surrendered. Uh, and that's Zealand mine. All right, people are still kind of mad-ish, but uh, yeah, we can definitely go for Bruges and uh, Amsterdam. Denmark again. They've re-allied to Denmark. Why, why, why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to go through this? Oh, well, now I can call in Sweden? Well, this was actually easy enough. And there we go. Amsterdam is now mine as well. A coalition conform, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Let's go and take out uh, Flanders or Brabant, actually. Okay, we finally have the claim on this province. So let's go ahead and declare. Call him my trusty sidekick, Hesse. Final war. A monument? Oh. And just like that, our final war is finally done. Who cares? But yeah, after getting the final province that we needed, we have accomplished our two goals for this campaign, which were as Liege to conquer the entirety of the Lowlands region, and additionally, all of the Walloon cultured provinces as well. And with that, our campaign is a success. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as Liege in these two provinces right here. And like I said at the start, I thought expansion was going to be really, really difficult due to the fact we got Burgundy right here and their subjects. How are we going to fight them? Hopefully no one bad got the Burgundy in succession, but using my gigantic brain, I managed to get some provinces from Burgundy with the help of France and make them let go of the junior partners. Of course, that didn't actually matter because after that, they warned me and it was still the same. Like I didn't even do anything. So I just could have taken more provinces. But then luckily, 
luckily Osnabrück or whoever got the Burgundian succession and uh that warning went away man with the help of France for some time you know we helped we pummeled these guys over here took provinces from them after that France broke the alliance with me I had to fight them as well in a super difficult war to take Calais had to fight Great Britain beat up their fleet beat up literally everyone and we do own the entirety of the lowlands region and all the Walloon cultured provinces man every culture accepted everything stated dev insane look at this right here we're the number six great power in the world 527 dev more dev than Aragon, more than portugal just in this tiny little region right here and let me scroll through the development so you guys can see this man look at this such high developed provinces of course some aren't that high because they don't produce that good trade goods but uh look at this man one of the best regions in the world right here collecting in the english channel two level three centers of trade i just upgraded bruges buildings built everywhere man workshops in literally every single province churches in every single province and i just built a bunch of manufactories as well which means we are making about 70 ducats a month with forts and armies up with all of that down we're making about 80 which is simply insane and that's with no boats protecting trade only 59 percent control in the english channel england owns a big portion but uh you know what i'll take that any day overall a super super fun campaign man we were very very rich you know a very slow and steady uh climb to the top massive armies we can beat up pretty much anyone in the world right now it just took us such a long time because the aggressive expansion in this region is insane which caused me to mold and rage quit yesterday but today is a new day and it starts off with a success but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as liege in a to z has been a success and that has been liege in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash redhawk live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video